Hi, my name is Jose Anna Tanner. I'm a PhD candidate at Carleton University. In this presentation, you'll learn a few facts about American Sign Language, and then I'll show you a few signs and signed phrases. There is not one universal sign language. American Sign Language, ASL, is the sign language used in the United States and the majority of Canada. But Canada has other distinct sign languages as well. For example, Maritime Sign Language used in the Atlantic provinces, Inuit Sign Language used in the Canadian Arctic, and Langue Sine Québécois used in Quebec. Around the world, just as countries have distinct spoken languages, they also have distinct sign languages. These languages might share some common features, but they are not mutually intelligible. Even when two countries share a spoken language, their sign languages can be vastly different. For example, while British English and North American English share common roots, British Sign Language is markedly different from American Sign Language. The two sign languages even have different systems for representing letters of the same alphabet. ASL uses the hands and fingers of the signer's dominant hand, while BSL uses both hands. ASL is not derived from English, and it is not a simplified form of English. It was not created by hearing people to help deaf people. It is a natural language with its own grammar and structure. It has all the properties and linguistic characteristics of a spoken language, such as phonology, morphology, syntax, and semantics, only in the visual channel rather than oral. Despite a long history of use, it was not until William Stokey's pioneering work in the 1960s that ASL was recognized as a language. The publication of the Dictionary of American Sign Language on Linguistic Principles was a watershed moment for the recognition and acceptance of ASL as a language. Stokey showed that American Sign Language uses a systematic distribution of manual behaviors that correspond to phonemes, morphemes, and syntax in spoken language. What Stokey did was monumental in that he expanded the definition of language beyond speech. More than 50 years of hard and persistent work later, most people understand that sign languages are equivalent to spoken languages in both complexity and expressiveness. By the mid-1980s, ASL programs were being established in high schools and universities across the U.S. and Canada. ASL has become increasingly popular among hearing adults, as well as in infant and K-12 settings. In 2009, ASL surpassed German and, and is now the third most commonly taught language course offered at colleges in the U.S. The downside to the rapid expansion of ASL programs is that demand for classes has outpaced research, teacher training, and curriculum design. Hearing learners enroll in sign language classes for both personal and professional reasons. Some want to become interpreters or speech therapists, others want to communicate with deaf friends or family members, and some are simply curious about the language. Student motivations for learning vary widely, but most learners of ASL aim to use their language to interact in some way with members of the local signing community. So now that you know a little bit about ASL, it's time to learn some signs.